Heroes and Legends Generations The Winged Witch It is apparent that the Federation of Clans might actually win this war. In order to prevent that, a vengeful lone warrior named Rufus who was once a part of the Obelon clan, one of the clans that opposed the original three clan alliance of Strawn, Paul, and Christron, escaped to the dimensions to seek the aid of the winged witch, Plastica. Plastica was amused and intrigued by Rufus's long hair and his powerful axe weapon, but she wanted an audience with him. Rufus came to her for help, to ask for her magic, to help to beat back the clan space magic, led by Lysithia. Plastica was not interested in the war, but however, she is interested in Rufus joining her side. So, Ruf so she made an offer, exchange for Rufus's soul for her help. Rufus gives his soul willingly for the cause. Plastica was too impressed, and so she offered to help him. The first bit was for Ruf to tell Pod Rufus to find Saint, who was the sword warrior of Stella, who was locked away in Alan's space, who had failed to capture Alan's space. Rufus met up with Zing, and Zing was shocked but he was found out. However, Rufus said he was an ally, and together they will free Stella and take the island galaxy right under their noses. This was an attempt to bring down the clan space and the clan federation. And so the two warriors with some troops that Plastica led, led them, worked together to find Stella's prison. There, they beat back the island forces. Stella had, regained, had maintained her youth and did not age along with Zane in order to harbor her vengeance. By this time, Federline, who was the great protector of the island space, had aged, but was amazed to see Rufus and Singh working together. He and his guards were determined to kill them, seeing that they came to rescue Stella. It was paramount that Stella would not be released from prison, seeing that the island forces were away in a campaign against the Builder Run. However, Rufus and Singh's might combined was too much for Federline to handle, and so the great protector of Alan Space died. And once he died, it was abundantly clear that the tides of war were turning. Stella rejoiced, and her and Zing was reunited once more. The beginning of the end of the clan Space Goods Fortunes was soon at hand. <laughs>